We got more wind out there as a cold front is barreling through eastern Idaho tonight and it's going to stall out as we go through tomorrow morning into the extreme southeastern corner of the state, bringing in some scattered showers, some gusty winds, and we get a few thunderstorms across the region here for tonight, tomorrow, and we'll have more showers working in here from the north Thursday and Friday. So the wet weather it's going to be hit and miss, but we're going to be definitely dealing with wind across the board. So it doesn't matter where you're at, you'll definitely see the wind. The showers, on the other hand, are going to be kind of just sprinkled around the region. 64 right now in Idaho Falls. Winds out of the uh, southwest at 23 miles an hour. We go to the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Camp, also dealing with partly to mostly cloudy conditions. 63 degrees with winds into the teens. East of the Tetons, still getting knocked around with some winds right now into the 20s around Jackson. Mid 50s currently at the airport there with a part Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy outlook. And in Salmon, we've been pulling in some sunshine this afternoon. We got some clouds rolling back in. And as you go a little north of Salmon, we're actually seeing some rain up towards Lost Trail Pass, which we can see here on Viper, with a few spotty sprinkles currently up into the Snake Highlands of Fremont County, Teton County, Idaho, and Wyoming. But nothing too crazy in terms of active thunderstorms or anything severe for this evening. Cold front's getting right overhead here. In fact, it's passing overhead as we speak. Speak, but it's going to slow down to the point where it's looking to stall out across extreme southeastern Idaho. It's going to be unsettled to say the least, and we are going to be looking for spotty thunderstorms tomorrow throughout the region, but we still have that wind out of the southwest, and that's going to keep our temperatures into the 60s outside here for your Wednesday. Then as we get into Thursday, deeper pocket of low pressure pushes on in from the Pacific Northwest. That in turn lowers our temperatures for Thursday and Friday. We see more widespread showers coming in here to close out the work week. The wind continuing to howl out of the west and the southwest as this area of low pressure gets over the Great Basin to close out the work week. Let's go to the Viper cast. I want to show you that cold front tonight. It's going to slow down. It's going to turn into a stationary front just to our southeast. As a result, we're looking at mainly cloudy conditions for a good chunk of the day tomorrow. A chance of some wet weather, especially as you go south and east of the Snake River Plain. Getting into southeastern Idaho with a rain-snow mix, some rumbles of thunder possible tomorrow, and we're also up towards the mountains on the western side of the desert, out towards central Idaho and the Snake Highlands. You have a good chance of seeing those thunder clouds and some rain showers. The Snake River Plain, yeah, it's going to be hit and miss if we do see any wet weather, but it's definitely going to be windy, and then we'll have more wind in here for Thursday and Friday with a smattering of storms coming in for Thursday. Thursday afternoon and evening that will push forward through Friday. You'll notice here on the rain map that things are really going to go crazy for southeastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and getting into the mountains up towards uh, Pinedale, Wyoming, Jackson, Soda Springs. Also a little bit of rain in central Idaho, but just a drop or two in the Snake River Plain with these passing thunderclouds. 62 for the high in McCammon tomorrow, 59 in Montpelier with highs getting into the mid-50s for Jackson, lower 60s for Rexburg and St. Anthony with 53 in Island Park. Temps tomorrow in central Idaho around 50 for Stanley, 60 for Chalice in the upper 50s in Arco with Idaho Falls getting into around 63 tomorrow, 64 for Pocatello and 65 out towards Aberdeen. Let's jump to the salmon eight day forecast. You'll notice temperatures here into the lower 60s as we head to Thursday. We will see temperatures lowering to the lower 50s by Friday. Again, staying windy and a bit unsettled with a shot of some wet weather looking a little nicer for the weekend for Saturday and Sunday. Jackson a high at 56 for tomorrow and Thursday. Scattered threats for showers and thunderstorms with highs into the mid-40s for Friday, 50s and 60s for the weekend. Pocatello, you got a few rumbles of thunder, gusty winds, showers, thunderstorms, highs into the mid-60s. Numbers are going to drop down to the 50s and lower 60s for Friday and Saturday. We are expecting to see numbers looking pretty decent as we get into the start of next week with numbers back to the low to mid-60s. Idaho Falls. 59 for the, high, for the high Thursday and 55 for Friday. We will see the temperatures getting back into the 50s and 60s for next week. A decent chance of some wet weather over the next few days with a chance of a thunderstorm or two and overnight lows into the mid to lower 30s. Our Caribou Ford Spirit of Idaho 